This video is about the normalized node in Unreal Engine materials. I'm gonna explain what it is, what it's used for, and how we can use it. So let's do it. You can download the project file of this video on my Patreon. The link is in the description. Normalize node. Right click in the material graph and search for normalize. It's here under math. Let's add it. It has one input, one output, and nothing here in the details tab. We can use this section to add a description to the node. All the nodes have it. We can also right click on the node and add the description here. So what does it do? It calculates and outputs the normalized value of its input. Normalizing a value means to convert that value down into a version where it is in the 0 to 1 range. Normalized vectors or unit vectors have an overall magnitude or length of 1. To normalize a vector, for example this vector, each component must be divided by the total magnitude of the vector. D stands for distance or magnitude. If you're wondering how D or the magnitude of a vector is calculated, this is how. When we have a single channel constant, the magnitude of the vector is the same as its value. And when it's a constant 2 or 3, the magnitude is calculated with these formulas. So if this is our vector, its magnitude is 5.3851. Why? Because 4 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 2 equals 29. And the square root of 29 is 5.3851. We'll round it up to 5.39. Now if we divide each component by the magnitude, we'll get the normalized value for that component. 4 divided by 539 equals 0 0.74. 2 divided by 5.39 equals 0 0.37 and 3 divided by 5.39 equals 0 0.55 so this is the normalized version considerations the input is named vector input so any vector can be normalized most vectors used in rendering are normalized for example light directions surface normals and vertex normals are always used in normalized format Normalizing our vectors brings them down into the same range, so they're easier to compare. For example, it's hard to compare these two vectors, but normalizing them gives us these two vectors, which are easier to compare. Normalized vectors are also called unit vectors, so keep that in mind. Passing either of these vectors through normalize will output the same vector. Passing this vector will result in this vector. The only special case is an all zero vector which will be unchanged. Based on the documentation, it is not necessary to normalize an expression which plugs into the normal material output. The normalize node is great for making large values color safe. We'll see how it does that in the next section. But before getting to that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our communities on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. You can ask questions or answer them, share your work in progress and more. If you're interested in supporting the channel and downloading the project file of this video, check out my Patreon. The links are in the description. Examples I'm gonna use this UV checker texture. You can download it on my website. Add the object position node and the multiply node. Hold M and click to add it. Connect them like this. And connect it to the base color. Save the material and assign it to this cube. Now the only thing we get is this color. The object position value is very large. We can see that by checking the location of the object. When we multiply the texture by this value, we get huge results. That's why we only see the color and not the texture. So let's get back in the material and add the normalized node after the object position node. Apply it and this is the result. The normalized node brings the large value down to the 0 to 1 range and as a result the texture data won't be lost. As I said before the normalized node makes large values color safe. 
In this material, I've multiplied the object position by the noise texture from the starter content and connected it to the base color and the emissive inputs. I want to assign it to these donut meshes. This one's location is 3000 units in the X axis, this one's location is 3000 units in the Y axis, and this one's is 3000 units in the Z axis. So let's assign it to them. Because of the object position vector which is 3000, we get this overblown result. So let's get back in the material and add a normalized node after the object position node. Save the material. And now the values are more reasonable. That's because we've decreased the object position value for each of these objects. In this case, from 3000 to 1. This is in the x-axis, so we get red. This is in the y-axis, so we get green. And this is in the z-axis, so we get blue. And that's it. Click here for more Unreal stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Also, a special thanks to my patrons for making this possible. Like this video, subscribe, and join our communities. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.